Well, I got the first shed all lit up for Christmas time. Fire in the stove with good reason. Looky here. First wolf in the first shed. Unfortunately, it's not mine. My friend brought it by to <laughs> boy look at that guy. Friend bought it by because he wasn't sure how to skin him right. Asked me to do it. So I was dumb enough to say okay. Look at his teeth. That one is old. Really worn down. But it's a female. Probably I'm thinking a little bigger than average. I don't know it. My scale only goes up to 50 pounds, so I can't weigh it. But I'm going to, uh, after I get it skinned, I'll weigh the hide separately from the carcass and see if I can do it that way. So my big trapping season so far has consisted of uh, just a few muskrats. I think I got 25 of them is all. But I've only had four traps out, so I can't complain about that too bad. But this moving stuff has taken <laughs> they get a big toll on my trapping season. I should be out there chasing these guys, and I'm not. So anyway, sorry to say it's not mine yet. <laughs> A little better look at this guy. Well, girl, female. Uh, he's not sure if he's going to have it rugged or not, so I'm leaving the, the feet in the hide. You always want to leave the, the feet on with the wolf. And when I get to the head, I'll leave it in the hide also and just cut it off. But uh, I was going to say, a friend of mine who is world known wolf trapper. He made a gift to me of a couple of his knives, and boy, they are nice. These are, his name is Jack Whitman. He's trapped all over the world, including Russia, for uh, Siberian tigers, Mongolia, I mean, all over the place. But these are nice little skinners. They're really thin, almost like a, probably a handsaw blade is what I'm thinking he made them out of. I don't know. But this one, great little skinner got a good shape to it. The blade's only about three inches long. This one here, that thing comes down to such a point, it's like a scalpel. If we're doing uh, the toes and the feet of these guys, it's going to be perfect. And that's what he makes them for, is for skinning. Mainly he's a wolf trapper, so. And, uh, anyway, he's the guy MB750's Minnesota brand is what they're called. That's what the MB stands for. Uh, they have a Jack Whitman special on the way they're rigged up, and that's the guy. So I don't know how he, how to get a hold of him with his knives, if he sells them outright or just sells them through pe other people or just what. But... Uh, they're great. I mean, if you if I can get him, I'll, I'll talk to him before I put this on here and see if there's an address and see if he's even willing to make that many. But uh, if you can get a hold of one of his knives, do it. They're nice. So anyway, get back to work on this guy. Now the carcass is too heavy for my scale. The head and the hide with feet attached is right at 16 pounds. The, the the carcass bottoms it out. I mean it comes clear down to here and it only goes to 50 pounds so I'm thinking this wolf's probably at least 80 probably closer to a hundred pretty good size one <laughs> 